Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for joining me tonight. I'm Spagaver, this is Spagaver Backpacking. If you haven't seen this channel before, this is a channel that's all about backpacking. Backpacking gear, trips, gear reports, all kinds of things that revolve around backpacking. Now, I've got this stove series that I've been doing for a while now, and mostly it revolves around alcohol stoves. I really have gotten into the back the alcohol stoves and enjoy using them, enjoy seeing the different ones out there. So recently I have tested a few different stoves, the MSP Core and then just on a recent trip I did the MSP Frag wood burning stove. And so just yesterday MSP, that's my survival pack, launched a Kickstarter for this stove. Now I've had this stove for a little while. I actually took it with me on a trip out to Colorado and used it in the snow. And I've got to tell you what it is, is uh, this is the MSP Polar Core. And so this is designed for cold weather. So if any of you guys are familiar with like a fancy fee stove, this is very similar in design to that in that it has a wick around the outside and an integrated pot support. So it comes in this little small package. It's got a, a little top on the top that uh, you can take off. And then once you take it off, you can get it put together. So why don't we get this thing put together. I'll show you guys how it goes together and we'll get this test started. So I'm gonna run through the tests, but I wanted to show you guys this right now because it is just now available on Kickstarter. So go over to their Kickstarter. I'll leave the link down below. And if you're coming into this after the Kickstarter is over, well, be prepared. This is going to be a cool stove. We're going to get to test it right now. So let's go. Okay, so let's take a look at how this thing goes together. So the top comes off pretty easily. Inside you have a carbon felt wick and then you have these two pieces which fit down inside of each other and you just kind of pull them apart. Now then these two pieces align so that the little lips that are on there kind of connect with each other and so now you have them together like this. You've got the bottom piece and you take that carbon felt and it lines the outside. So it goes in, just wrap it around the inside right there. So you can see how that goes in there. So you just wrap that in there. And then you take this piece that you put together and it slides right down into that carbon felt. And now this is the stove. You've got the top piece that really isn't used once it's put together, but once you take it apart and put it together in here, that goes on top. Now, it is also available with a high heat wick. So this wick, as you can see, actually stands up a little bit higher than the stove outside, and so it would produce more heat. So that's, that's there for if you have a bigger pot or you're gonna be doing more cooking. But for the size pots I use, this right here is perfect setup. So why don't we go ahead, get this thing fired up, and get the test going. We're gonna be starting out, we're gonna be using the 700, then we'll be using the 550, and finally the Foster's Pot. We'll be doing the same protocols we always do, 12 fluid ounces of water. We're gonna get the water to about 60 degrees, and that'll be your starting point, and one fluid ounce of yellow bottle heat. We'll be test testing it, finding out the boil time on each of the different pots, and the burnout time. So let's get it going. Okay, so I've got it set up, got the water in here. It's sitting at 60 degrees. I've got one fluid ounce in here. You pour the fuel into the center chamber and then it wicks its way out. Now also, some of the things, there are different features that you can buy when you go onto the Kickstarter. You can actually get a, uh, he calls it a snowshoe, a titanium snowshoe that expands the footprint of this so that if you're using a bigger pot, it doesn't tip over. There's also a carbon felt one that gives it just a little bit more protection underneath from the cold snow or ice that you're setting it on. Now, like I said, I did take this out to Colorado, set it down on snow, 
and was able to boil water no problem. So I've got the timer set ready to go. I've got everything set up. It's fueled up. Let's get it lit up. <laughs> and it is lit, but not all the way around. So I'm gonna actually light the other side just to get it going. There we go. Okay, it is lit. I'm gonna go ahead and get the pot on. Timer is started. And we'll come back and see what it takes to bring this thing to a boil. Here is the burn pattern of this stove. Okay, there's 200 degrees at just past four minutes and 20 seconds. There's 209, rolling boil at four minutes, 43 seconds. Let's see what burnout is. The flames are starting to die down and with a carbon felt wicked stove, you can really tell when that's starting to happen because you start to see the flashing that you see here with the wick. And I'm gonna call that burnout right there at 10 minutes, 36 seconds. Okay, I've got the, let me reset it. I've got the timer reset. I've got 12 fluid ounces sitting at 60 degrees. I've got one ounce of fuel in this stove. Let's go ahead and get it lit. Okay, it looks like it lit all the way around that time. Pot is on. Timer is started. Let's come back and see what it takes to bring this one to a boil with the Tokes 550. Okay, there's 200 degrees at four minutes and 25 seconds, just five minutes behind the 700. And there is a boil, a rolling boil at four minutes and 44 seconds. Four minutes, 44 seconds. One second slower than the 700. So very, very consistent, very close. Let's see what burnout is. Okay, the flames are definitely dying down. There's the flickering of the wick that's there. Still holding 209. There's 208, 10 minutes, 24 seconds for burnout. Okay, once again, I've got the water set up, 12 ounces in the Foster's pot, 60 degrees. Timer is reset. One fluid ounce of fuel in there. Let's get it lit. All right, it's lit. Pot is on, timer is started. Let's see what it does with this really small Foster's pot. I bet it's going to be like a lot of the other tests, and it's not going to do as well here. The other two, both the 550 and the 700, were very close in both boil, one second off, and burnout, about 10 seconds off. So very, very close. Let's see what it does here. There's 200 degrees at 5 minutes, 18 seconds. It's been noticeable that the flames have been coming way up around this pot compared to the other pots. There's 209 at five minutes, 42 seconds. Nice rolling boil. Let's see what burnout is. Okay, the flames are starting to die down. I'm starting to see the flickering on the wick. Still holding the boil. Flames 
flames are getting very low. And I'm going to call that burnout right there at 10 minutes, 41 seconds. So this is the Polar Core Stove by My Survival Pack. Currently on Kickstarter, unless you're watching this after Kickstarter ended. But if you're not, the link will be down below. Now, some of the things about this one that are a little bit different than the one that's on Kickstarter or the one that's going to be offered as a production model. This tin right here, the bottom case, the piece that I've got it in, uh, that is actually tin on this one, which is a prototype. On the production models, that's aluminum. Now, what difference does that make? Okay, if you can see right here, and then if you look down inside, there is a little bit of rust, and you can see the rust on here. These, this stand itself is titanium. So it's not going to rust. That rust that you see there is actually from down inside of this. A little bit of Scotch-Brite, I can get it off, no problem. It's not a big deal. The reason that it happened was I was using this last time out in the rain. It got wet. I put it together. It's been sitting inside of a pot for a couple of weeks, and so a little bit of rust developed. Now, on the production model, you won't have to worry about that. It'll be aluminum and titanium. They're not going to rust. How did it perform? I think it did pretty well. Very consistent between both the 550 and the 700, which means it'll be a great stove to take, whether you use either one of those pots. We're talking four minutes and 45 seconds approximately to come to a boil, which is pretty darn good. Burnout was around 10 and a half minutes, and so that's not bad as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the leaderboard and see where this one stacks up. All right, here is your current leaderboard and fastest boil. On that, it came in 4 minutes 43 seconds, so it is 5th best, and that was with the 700. If you look at the longest burn, it is about a third from the bottom, so it's still got 4 below it, so it's pretty safe right there for right now, and it is 4th best for the fuel usage. And we had to go to decimal points, and the Spagaver stove did beat it out by about a half an ounce or I'm sorry, about 0 .005 of an ounce. So very, very close between the two of them. And so let's see what got knocked off for fastest boil. The Venom, which came in at 6 minutes and 27 seconds, got knocked off. The Batch Stoves IS 2.0 on the fuel usage at 0.52. And the Stormin Stove, the Stormin Cone, got knocked off of the longest burn at 8 minutes and 40 8 minutes and 34 seconds, sorry. Now, on the Polar Core, I did not put the weight up there. I will put it up. It is 43.6 grams. Okay, so this is a cool little stove. Great in the colder temperatures, just like anything that uses a wick. Now, I really like the fact that you can take it apart, break it down, and put it inside of its storage sack, actually has to go a specific way, otherwise it doesn't fit together right. There we go. So these go together inside of each other, fit down inside, wrap the wick up, put the wick down in there, and the top goes on, and you've got it all concealed in this nice little carrying case. 43.6 grams, and it performed pretty well. I think it's one that you should look into it's very stout uh, and the fact that you can pack it down means that you're not worried about it getting crushed or deformed next time since we're on the topic of fancy feasts i've had a lot of requests for a homemade fancy feast that is what this is fancy feast tomato paste and a carbon felt wick so that's what we're going to be doing next so come back and check that out i appreciate you guys checking in I will see you down the trail.